Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a zipper purse. Okay, very easy. So I put my, my pattern down on my cloth and cut out two pieces for the lining. You could use pretty fabric if you want to on the inside and out, but I just chose you to use a solid, plus broadcloth is pretty inexpensive. All right, and so I cut out two pieces, one lining and one top, one lining and one top. Then I took them and sewed them together at the top here. Okay, straight sit and I zigzagged one on, one off. Okay, all the way down. Okay, then I put them together. So here's the top, and then let me take out one of these pins. You know, here's the top where I zigzagged. And then, here's my zipper. I just kind of laid it down in the middle. Okay. And then here's the right side of the zipper and the right side of the fabric. So I laid it on top and put right sides together. Okay. Now, I'm in a, using a zipper that's longer than the fabric. Now, I oftentimes, I like using a zipper that's longer. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think they cost any more. But I can keep that zipper pull out of the way until I'm ready to finish it and then you can unzip it because sometimes when you're sewing you'll sew and then the zipper heads up here and you'll have to unzip it sew a little ways turn it zip it back up and then keep going so this way the zipper heads out of the way until you have that zipper totally on so I, I actually like that um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine okay I have right sides together. I'm going to go over here and I have my zipper foot right here and there's two sides. There's a right side and a left side and I have it on the left side because when I put my presser foot down put my presser foot down I want that to be on the tape and if it's on the other side it would kind of be wobbling in the middle so I want that to be right there on that tape. Okay. So I also have it on a, a stitch length of a one, okay, all right, all right, so I'm going to lower this presser fit down, keeping the threads kind of pulled to the back, I'm going to back stitch to start with, and I'm going to stitch right in the middle of this tape, keeping these raw edges, well, the, the zip, you know, the zipper edge with the raw edge of the fabric, where I zigzagged, okay, I'm just going to take it, okay, back stitch and sew off your fabric. You can see how the fabric ends right there. Okay. I'm going to roll up the needle, cut it off, and my threads back to the back. Okay, now I've got that zipper part on. Okay, but now it doesn't lay right yet. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to top stitch right close to the top of the fabric. Okay, this will keep it laying down and not get caught at the zipper. All right, so this, huh, now it's kind of weird because I'm not, the zipper's on the wrong side and it may be hitting the zipper and kind of wobbling the foot. So I need to take it and put it back the fabric this way. So it's kind of still laying on that tape. Back stitch. And then I'm going to pull it this way away from it as I do. So real close to that edge. Pulling it away from the where you would zip it up. And get to the end of the fabric and back stitch and sew off. And don't worry about your uh, zipper pull. Don't worry about that at all yet. Right, so cut it off, set it up for the next side. But this side is complete. Okay. All right, let's go back over to our other side. Okay. I'm going to take this and lay it down. All right, now I need to put the next piece on. Okay. 
So I want to do right sides together, but I can't see the zipper tape I need to sew on. Okay, so it would be like this way. Okay, but I want the fabric to be the outside. So I'm going to line it up, making sure you line up these edges too. Okay, so you line up that, but you also line up this little corner right here and right here. I'm going to pin. 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 Now you can make, um, I made the pattern piece out of a piece of paper. So you can tape the pieces of paper together, make it any size you want. Small, large, you know, pencil case, cosmetic size, a larger one for a purse, you know, whatever you want. Okay, so this is together now. Okay, and so the other side, we can make over here. machine. All right, I'm back on that side of the tape. Get my pen. Now don't be afraid to just try this, you know, get you a few zippers and just try it. Don't overthink it for your first two or three ones, you know, just cut out four pieces of fabric all the same size. You know, and normally, so right sides together, which is what we're doing with our zipper tape and everything. But realize that when you're making the, just making the two sides over here, you're actually putting a pretty side out and then a pretty side in if, if you want to uh, print over on this side. So you'd want to see the print. So it's actually wrong sides together for the two sides. Okay. All right. So now here I go again. Uh, we sewed that on and I'm pull it over and I'm going to top stitch this. I want to make sure that my foot that I'm sewing on and the side that I'm sewing on is is the tape. So this side of the tape. I'm going to pull it this way and top stitch. Pulling as I go. And you make sure when you're sewing on that zipper on the other side that you sew in the same place on one side as you do the other. So more of the zipper doesn't show in the middle than on the other side. And occasionally it won't be perfect, but that's okay. You'll learn and you'll get better as you go. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off all these threads to start with. Now I've sewn on my zipper, so I can take this presser foot off, hit the button on the back, and put this one back on, because I'll need that, and I'll lower that back on. Okay, so I won't need this one. I'll just put it on my magnetic plate. For now, it didn't even stick. All right, so back over here. All right, so now there's a couple ways you could do this. Okay, first, you could lay it just like this, matching up your sides, and you could sew around it and then zigzag, zig, sew around it and then zigzag one on one off your sides. But you'll have the seams showing. Also. If you did it like that, you have your zipper pull out here, and you surely would not have the ability to turn that thing right side out. So, first of all, if you're going to do it that way, you would always, and I cut off these threads, unzip it to about halfway at least, so you can match all this up. And then you could sew 5 8 inch in all the way around. Then reach in and turn it right side out. But we're not going to do it that way. Okay? But you can. Okay, I'm going to cut off some of these threads. What we're going to do is we're going to take the lining. Okay? Now you see the outside right piece? It's already right sides together now. So we're going to take those and keep those right sides together. And then we're going to take our lining and pull it up over the top and do right sides together. Okay? So now. I'm going to pin the lining together, and I always start with the corners, so things will be nice and even. I'll pull over here to this. Match that one up. 
Now I can match here. And then the sides. And the other side. I cut them out the same size, so they should be pretty much together. Here's the lining. I needed to iron that a little bit. If the fabric is wrinkled, iron it. It's so much easier to work with when it's ironed. And if they don't match up perfectly, don't worry. You can always trim it down later. All right, now we're going to sew all the way around this, but then we're also going to need the opening to show it, to uh, turn it right side out, right? So what we're going to do is we, we're going to leave an opening here in the bottom of the lining because that's going to be tucked in. And we can just sew it closed with the sewing machine when we get finished. All right, now what do we do with these crazy things? Well, if you look at this zipper right here, okay, here's your zipper. That's the outside. So we're going to fold this. Just fold it to the inside, okay? We're going to fold that to the inside and just make the tabs even. And I'm going to put a pin right here. And then we need to make sure we do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Okay. So here we're going to fold those. And kind of follow it down to the inside. And kind of feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put those together and put a pin right there. And you can sew over this. These are like vinyl zippers, so you could sew over that. All right, so I've kind of pinned all the way around. Put one more over here. Okay. Now we're ready to sew around. Now I've unzipped it halfway ish <laughs> and so don't worry about these we're not cutting off these tabs until we're absolutely finished okay all right so let's get some over here i'm gonna use of this crazy camera huh? all right so we're gonna leave an opening in the bottom between those two pins so if i start with this pin it's gonna sew over the opening so i'm gonna start with this pin and I always make sure my fabric's on the outside of my machine, not under here on the throat plate. Okay. So I'm going to do like 5 eighths inch. You can see it on your machine. And I'm just going to put it right up next to that line. Okay. Take out my pen. I'm going to be on a 1 and a 3 length. I'm not going to mess with the width width would just move your needle over. Okay, so I'm going to roll my needle down and I back stitch. I'm take out my pins as I go. Okay, and we get to the end. I'm going to pivot and go like a little tiny bit more. And if you get too close to the side, you can always go over this again. It's not going to hurt to go over it twice. Okay. Especially if some of your edges aren't exactly even. Alright, I'm getting here to the zipper. I'm going to take out this pin. I'm going to go real slow. Just to make sure I don't break my needle. And just go past it. your needle in, pick it up, pivot, put her back down. And you don't want to leave the opening in the bottom of your outside fabric because you're going to be on the outside and you'll see this opening that you have to sew shut. Pick it up, pivot, put her back down. Alright, you get into my zipper again. Pin. She did fine. Okay. Then 
pivot. And there's my pin. And stop, back stitch. Go one more, just make sure it won't come out. Cut her off. All right, now we're we'll go back over here. Okay, now we can get some old scissors. Old scissors. Okay. okay. Cut off your zippers. You don't need those anymore. Right. Now we can reach in the lining. Okay. Get all the way to the bottom and pull her out. Okay. But one more thing I want to do, and then we could sew so it. I want to square the bottoms of my purse, of my zipper bag. All right, so I'm gonna reach in and find my bottom corner down here, okay? So normally it's just flat like that. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put my finger kinda in that corner and this seam right here and this seam right here, I'm gonna make, pull it like this, make it like a triangle, okay? Now, I'm going to take a pin and put it in this seam right here and then see if it'll match over here to this other seam. I'm going to put a pin in there. Make that straighter. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So there's the flat side. I'm going to turn it the other way. Okay. Let me pick it apart. There you go. Okay. Okay, flat. Go in one seam and come out the other seam. And flatten it. Now I'm going to sew across that. And you can do your lining that way if you want to to match it up, <clears throat> but you don't have to. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take this little point right here. And however much I sew up over from this side, I need to sew up the same amount on the other side. Okay? I'm going to set that down. I'm going to go frontwards. But I also need to back stitch all the way back. Roll her up. Take her out. I'm going to cut out some extra thread. Okay? There's that. Now, I can cut this off and zigzag it, which I'll do in just a minute. Okay? Let me do this other one. That's why you make sure you do a really good zigzag. <clears throat> because you don't want to cut it off and then not have it kind of finished inside. Or you didn't do good with And make sure you back stitch really well. Because you don't want a hole on this in, going in there. Put that down. Needle down. Back stitch. All the way. Across. Back stitch, roll her up, put up all your threads. Okay, and use the scissors to cut. Now I'm going to turn this to a four up to up to. Make sure your thread's always between those little feet there. One on, one off. Stitch at the beginning and the end. Always a habit for me. Hold your stitches in. There's one done. Flip it over here. I'll see the other one. Pull her up. Cut her off. Okay. Right here a minute. Alright. So now I've folded those triangles in and squared the bottom off. Now, I can reach in. Looks like you're putting on tights. Okay, pull that out. Okay, now realize you have like four corners. Okay, find your corners. There's one. 
do. And you've got the bottom down here. Okay, now we have to tuck our lining in. Okay, but first we need to sew this opening shut that we just pulled everything through. Okay, and you can iron that if you want to. I won't take the time to go to the iron right now. And we're just going to put this down and put it near the edge. Now you can actually, I think I'll just do that. You can just sew that little opening shut, but I'm going to start at the end and I didn't change it from zigzag. All right, so I'm going to start at the end. That way I'll have a nice line all the way across it. And you see it's really close to the edge. Cut this thread off. I'm just peeking through that hole. See it's really close to this edge. All the way across. That way your lining will look consistent all the way across there. See that? Not sure. Okay, now take this, push it into my bag. Okay, now, this is where I didn't unzip it all the way yet. You just poke out all your corners, stuff your lining inside. I didn't square my lining. You could, but you don't have to. Just preference. And there is your little zipper bag. Okay? And then the bottoms are squared off. Okay? And that's without um, any stabilizer or anything. It's just your regular old zipper bag. And now you're ready to put all your cosmetics in. You can also applique. And so just have fun with it. <laughs>